Hello there. Thank you for clicking on this video. Your time is valuable, so we are super grateful that you are giving our little channel a chance. Any feedback is appreciated. Enjoy the story. Gulliver's Travels into Several Remote Nations of the World by Jonathan Swift A letter from Captain Gulliver to his cousin Simpson written in the year 1727. I hope you will be ready to own publicly, whenever you shall be called to it, that by your great and frequent urgency you prevail on me to publish a very loose and incorrect account of my travels, with direction to hire some young gentlemen of either university to put them in order and correct the style, as my cousin Dampier did by my advice in his book called A Voyage Around the World. But I do not remember I gave you power to consent that anything should be omitted, and much less that anything should be inserted. Therefore, as to the letter, I here renounce everything of that kind, particularly a paragraph about Her Majesty Queen Anne, of most pious and gorgeous memory although I did reverence and esteem her more than any of human species. But you or your interpolator ought to have considered that it was not my inclination. So was it not decent to prize any animal of our composition before my master Hoyam? And besides, the fact was altogether false. For, to my knowledge, being in England during some part of Her Majesty's reign, she did govern by a chief minister, nay, even by two successfully, the first whereof was the Lord of Godolphin, and the second the Lord of Oxford, so that you have made me say the things that was not. Likewise, in the account of the Academy of Projectors and several passages of my discourse to Master Hoyam, you have either omitted some material circumstances or changed them in such manner that I do hardly know my own work. When I formally hinted to you something of this in a letter, you were pleased to answer that you were afraid of giving offence, that people in power were very watchful over the press, and apt not only to the interpret, but to punish everything which looked like an innuendo, as I think you call it. But pray, how could that which I spoke so many years ago and about five thousand league distance in another reign be appealed to any of the youths who now are said to govern the herd, especially at a time when I little thought or feared the unhappiness of living under them? Have not I the most reason to complain when I see these very yohu carried by hoinums in a vehicle as if they were brutes and dolls the rational creatures? and indeed to avoid so monstrous and detestable sigh was on principal motive of my retirement hither. Thus much I thought properly to tell you in a relationship to yourself and to the trust I reposed in you. I do, in the next place, complain of my own great want of judgment, in being revealed upon by the entreaties and false reasoning a few and some others, very much against my opinion to suffer my travel to be published. Pray bring to my mind how often I desired you to consider, when you insisted on the motive of public good, that the Yoho were a species of animals utterly incapable of amendment by percept or example. And so it was proven, for instance, of seeing a full stop put to all abuse and corruptions, at least in the little island, as I had reason to expect, Behold, after above six months warning, I cannot learn that my book has produced one single effect according to my intentions. I desire you would let me know by a letter when part and fashion were extinguished, judges learned and upright, pleaders honest and modest, with some tincture of common sense, and Smithfield blazing with pyramids of law books the young nobility's education entirely changed, the physicians banned, the female yuhus abandoning in virtue, honour, trust and good sense, court and leaves of great ministers throughout widded and swift, with merit and learning rewarded, 
all disgracer of the press in prose and verse condemned to eat nothing but their own cotton and quench their thirst with their own ink these and a thousand other reformities i firmly count upon by your encouragement as indeed they were plainly deducible from the percept delivered in my book and it must be owned that seven months were a sufficient time to correct every vice and folly of which your hoofs are subject if their natures had been capable of the least disposition to virtue or wisdom yet so far you have been from answering my expectation in any of your letters that on the contrary you are loading our career every weekly with libels and keys and reflections and memories and second parts wherein i see myself accused of reflecting upon great state folk of degradating human nature for so they have still the confidence to style it and of abusing the female sex i find likewise that the writers of these bundles are not agreed among themselves for some of them will not allow me to be the author of my own troubles and others make the author of books to which i am wholly a stranger i find likewise that your printer has been so carelessly as to confound the times and mistake the dates of my severest voyages and returns neither assigning the true year nor the true month nor day of the month and i hear the original manuscript is all destroyed since the publication of my book neither have i any copy left however i have sent you some corrections which you may insert if ever there should be a second edition and yet i cannot stand to them but shall leave the matter to my judiciary and candid readers to adjust as they pleased i hear some of our sea you hoes find fault with my sea language as not proper in many parts nor now in use i cannot help it in my first voyage while i was young i was instructed by all those marines and learned to speak as they did but i have since found that the sea yahoos are up like the land ones to become new flangled in their words which the latter change every year insomuch as i remember upon each return to my own country their old dialect was so altered that i could hardly understand the new and i observe when any yahoo comes from london out of curiosity to do visit me at my house we neither of us are able to deliver our conceptions in a matter intelligible to the other in the consensor of yahoos would any way affect me i should have great reason to complain that some of them are so bold as to think my book of travels a mere fiction out of my own brain and have gone so far as to drop hints that the yahoomans and the yahoos have no more existence than the inhabitants of utopia indeed i must confess that as to the people of lilliput brodingram for so the word should have been spelt and not erroneously brodingrank and laputa i have never yet heard of any yuhu so presumptuous as to the dispute their beings or the facts i have related concerning them because the truth immediately strikes every reader with conviction and is there less probability in my account of the hoymans or yohus when it is manifest as to the latter there are so many thousands even in this country who only differ from their brothers brutes in human land because they use a sort of jabbers and do not go naked i wrote for their amendment and not their approbation the united price of the whole race would be of less consequence to me than the neither of these two generated omens i keep in my stable because from these generated as they are i still improve in some virtue without any mix of vice to these miserable animals presume to think that i am so degenerated as to defend my veracity yahoo as i am it is well known through all hoymant land that by the instruction and example of my illustrious master i was able in the compass of two years although i confess with the utmost difficulty to remove that infernal habit of lying shifling 
deceiving and equivocating so deeply rooted in the very souls of all my species especially the europeans i have other complaints to make upon the vexatious occasion but i forbear troubling myself or you any further i must freely confess that since my last return some corruption of my yoho nature have revived in me by conversing with a few of your species and particularly those of my own family by an unavoidable necessity else i should have never attempted so absurd a project as that of reforming the yoho race in this kingdom but i have now done with all such visionary schemes for ever Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and if you feel like it, please leave a comment. Bye for now.